this video we are going to create a dispersion effect it will be fun so let's get started assalamu alaikum guys my name is dinan chaudhry from wanted production so let's just start our work we will use this image let's just crop this first we'll select our selection tool and we'll select some selection around this shoe ok so we have created selection so we will click on refine edge Okay, so it, uh, without hitting OK, the settings are radius is to 28.4, feather is 0 and smoothness is 0 but the contrast is 30% and shift edge is plus 26% and the decontaminant colors are checked, amount is 54% and output to new layer with layer mask so hit OK. Now you can see that it is also removed from the background so what we will do is we will select a hard brush with hardness of 100% select the layer mask and we will select white brush and but as you can see that it is not just working well as it should be I think it is it is nice okay it is nice so we have uh, route about to complete this step on the next step we will create a new document and the size should be film and video 9020 by 1080 pixels and I will change it to 150 percent sorry 150 pixels per inch and we will select the background content to transparent and hit ok now we will select the move tool pick and drag this on our main document press ctrl T and we will press uh, right click and change it to flip horizontal again we have a little mistake so that's why I have repeated this step so size it up and check mark this and what we will do is next is select this tool and by doing this thing we will select our layer mask brush and we're selecting this uh, black foreground color press alt plus backspace press ctrl d now you can see that we have so less uh, shadows but what we'll do next is we'll select selection around this and press alt plus backspace press ctrl d you can see that now it is pretty much nicely cleaned actually the concept is we want to remove this under shadow so press brush B and by selecting this one size it down and we'll smaller this minor changes change the hardness to about like 80% then we'll apply this thing Okay, so it is pretty much nicely selected and now to do is we'll drag this to delete and we'll apply this very nice now what we'll do is we'll just press ctrl T press shift and rotate a little bit like this and size it down to give the desired effect don't worry about that it is just 
for the time being press control j hide the second layer and go to filter and liquify size it up and we will What we will do next is we will create a layer mask thumbnail on it and press ctrl i to invert this thumbnail. Hide this up and reveal this thing. Now what we will do is we will press E and before applying this we will create our background. So we will select our background. Press G from your keyboard. We have this gradient, nice gradient. The color is triple line, uh, triple line, triple line, and the white is as you know, FFFF. Hit OK. Press Shift from the center to the right side. That's it. This is what we are going to create, and this time we'll use this one and I'll reveal this thing too i will select our layer 0 copy and press e from our keyboard and select uh, this brush press f5 shape dynamics we'll increase the jitter increase the angle jitter scattering just a little bit not too much and spacing which is important 32 okay the size is uh, we can size it down come on we'll size it down like this and we'll apply this thing on it but not down sizes carefully adjust them where they look nice press f5 we want to random sizes i think it is randomized already so don't be worried about that so very nice I look, it looks nice here now what we'll do is we'll select our top layer select the black layer thumbnail and select the brush tool this brush here we have our brush and select the uh, our feather brush these brushes can be downloaded easily I have given the link to download these brushes size it down it is important step so change it to white and sorry we didn't apply our main effect for shattering this we will press f5 select the shape dynamics change size it to 200 percent sketching to not too much just a little bit and we'll change the angle jitter to 100% it is pretty much nice size them down not too much Let's give a little spacing hide this up and now we have our oh, come on there we go
very nice they we have a nice effect on that what we'll do is we'll press control j to get a copy to create a shadow for this shoe we'll delete this uh, mask thumbnail and apply this I press control t without doing this we'll press shift control g to create a group okay so we'll create a copy of this now you can see that uh, if you hide this this is the basic effect so what we'll do is we'll press shift select all these layers press control g to bring them in a group press control j to copy this group now press control e to convert into a single layer now what we'll do is we'll press control t and uh, without doing this let's just first invert this press control i sorry uh, press control shift and u press control l and this time turn it to black hit ok take it right under this now press control p flip vertical and there we go like this now press control d this is nice go to filter blur goes in blur again and we change it to soft light as you can see that it is very nice but we we'll create a laser mask thumbnail press G to call up your gradient tool and we will select this to linear gradient and press shift and not too much but like this just a little bit very nice okay now press ctrl T size it down a little bit now it looks nice what we'll do is open this group and what we'll do is now as we have two copies we'll delete one and apply this thumbnail we'll go to filter uh, noise add noise the detail is the amount is 2% it is Gaussian so hit ok go to filter sharpen and smart sharpen and they will go to 260 and hit ok so they have a nice effect now what we'll do is we'll close this group and select this one press ctrl j uh, again and press ctrl e and press ctrl shift alt plus e to select whole image go to filter camera raw filter and just give it a nice like this like this and shadows and the blackness check a little bit more and detail which is pretty much important for our image so 13 vibrance and I think 
think it's overall it is it is done i think it is done i, I really like this thing so we'll change it to 10 so hit ok and this is our final effect Okay, so we have done this tutorial I hope you like this tutorial and uh, if you like this hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to get more updates and we'll see you in next video take care